Hey, what's up guys? This is Marcos coming at you with another Final Cut Pro X tutorial. And today we're going to take a look at how to achieve the vintage faded slash hipster look. Uh, this is pretty popular and it's something that I use quite often. So let's just go ahead and take a look at it. So the best way to achieve this look is to use curves, except that Final Cut Pro X does not uh, give you the ability to play around with curves to affect uh, the, the shadows and the highlights and the midtones. Um, you only have the color wheels, but uh, the best way to do it, like I said, is to do it with curves. And the way I'm able to do that is with the Color Finale plugin, but this plugin costs $100. And I'm going to show you how to do that using Color Finale. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to delete the Color Finale effect. So we can go back and just look, this is our regular image. This is how it came out straight from the camera. So again, drop, let's drop in the color finale plugin into our video clip. If we open the controls, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to correct the image just slightly. Uh, as you can see here, the highlights are clipping. So let's bring it down just a little bit and I'm going to make the whole image a little bit darker by bringing down the midtones. Okay, now that's just color correction. I'm gonna bring in the curves. This uh, Final Cut Pro X does not come standard standard with uh, the curves. That's why Color Finale is so useful. So if we look at this line, this is the master curve. This is the shadows. In the middle is the midtones, and up here in the right, this is the highlights. And we're just gonna make three points along the line first of all. This is just a way to protect uh, the, when we bring this point up, as you can see, it's fading the shadows. And uh, let me remove the scopes. As you can see there, let me turn the curves off. It added more of, it lined up the shadows. And uh, the other thing you can do is bring down the highlights and this gives it even more of a vintage look. And if you want to you know, further this effect or uh, you can always bring this line up a little bit more and if you overdo it, you can always bring down the opacity of the effect, which is something very cool in Final Cut, uh, I mean, uh, Color Finale. So you can always bring it up or down just to refine uh, the look. So yeah, it's pretty simple. That's how you do it in Color Finale. It's much harder to do if you don't have this plugin or the ability to play with curves. Uh, so if we were trying to achieve this with just the color correction tool that comes with Final Cut Pro X, it's much harder. And let me show you what I mean. We drag this clip over, we're gonna create a duplicate and I'm gonna delete the Color Finale effect. Again, we're starting with the image that came straight from the camera. Let's drop in the color correction effect. And if we go in here, um, again, let's bring up the scopes. Let's just correct this a little bit, make the midtones a little bit darker. Let's add a second correction. And if we go back, you can see what I did. I first corrected, and now I'm adding, I'm adding a second instance. Uh, basically the, the idea is that you bring in, bring in more lights to the shadows or lighten the shadows. We do that. Uh, that lo looks just washed out, right? Which is not the same as a faded, uh, effect. So it's, so it's not quite the same. Um, so if I reset this, what I can do is I can create a shape, uh, a color mask and just try to select the shadows if i drag over and then add a little bit more now if we click on here here on view mask we're affecting everything that's in white which is basically the parts that are the shadows uh, let's turn it off and that's what we want we just want to affect the part when uh when we bring in more light into the shadow so if we drag up it should now only affect the shadows. But you see, it's not quite the same. It's uh, it's not grabbing anything, so you might have to refine this mask even further, but it's, it's much harder uh, to achieve that look. If you compare, 
I think the color finale did a much better job. Um, but again, you have to play around with this and I just find that it's much harder to get the exact same look and you might have to add, um, just to refine your, your selection even further just to get it right. But, uh, that's up to you. The color finale does cost a hundred dollars, but if you really want to achieve these looks, then it might be a worthwhile investment for you. Okay guys. So that's it. If you have any questions or if I didn't answer uh, anything that you had in mind, please let me know and I'll try to get to those. Uh, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.